what it's really doing right now is accelerating around insight and around strategy. And uh, that's primarily where it's been, but it's also be, uh, being quite a great tool as a creative catalyst. I think it's, uh, it's been certainly used to train a lot, I think to be able to get access information quickly, gather insight around audiences, and then being used, I think, a little bit more uh, in more recent times around the creative side. How is AI the next leg in terms of those insights? So if you take uh, with our company, you know, the methodology we have around disruption, the cultural intelligence we have, our clients' data, is really being able to put that into to one place to be able to aggregate that information and then be able to make sure that you can give access to the relevant parties that, uh, that can easily use that and then immediately be proactive about a business initiative or a strategy that they want to go and explore. One of the big messages that jumped out to me around AI was that it can allow brands to become more bespoke in their offering, even for, for brands that typically have been on the page of mass marketing. How does that then impact mm. the advertising strategy if you're going for more niche marketing? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure about that, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I, if I have any concerns, I think it's going to be that we'll get to more places in a sea of sameness, you know, when we get down to the creative side of things. So are you saying that you worry that AI has the potential to make the advertising industry lazy? No, I definitely don't think that at all. No, I think actually it's a very powerful tool for us, and I think it's going to be uh, certainly a place where, again, I think it's going to make information more nimble, more accessible. And I think it's going to provide you know, much more of an aggregated insight. So I, I think the reverse, quite frankly. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.